When I say I wore those out, I remember getting into a game and sliding all over the court like I was an extra in Frozen. And everybody was laughing. They was like, yo, Nate, bro, you need some new shoes. And I was like, nah, like these are mine. What's up, GQ? I'm Nate Burleson, and this is my life in sneakers. All right, so this part of my basement was just walls. I had somebody come in and build these shelves. And then after that, I placed these plastic bins, which replaces the shoe box. I used to be the guy that had a ton of shoe boxes, but when you get married and you have kids and the wife is like, yo, you taking up too much space. And I'm not in the sneaker business to buy and sell. So I didn't really need the boxes. So what I did is I just organized them. I organized them by brand. So starting from over here, I go Jordan, and then it connects to just my favorite Nikes, and then it goes to my LeBron section. Cause you can't have a Jordan section, Nike section, and then not have a LeBron. So it swooshes right into LeBron. And then I go Scottie Pippen, Kobe, and then the younger guys kick in, the Durants and Kyries. But then football is also a big part of who I am. I played in the NFL for 11 years. So I have Bo Jackson's, Calvin Johnson, and being a Seattle guy, I gotta represent and rock the Griffies too. And then it walks me right into my Patrick Ewing's, the Kimbe Mutombo's. Patrick Ewing and the Kimbe Mutombo don't get enough credit for them just saying, I'm gonna create my own shoe in the 90s. And then I have my Reeboks, that's obviously the answer. D Browns, Shaquille, Allen Iverson, Sean Kemp. And then I have a few really rare kicks, some Basquiat, Reeboks, that was a small collaboration. And then it goes to my Adidas, and uh, that's kind of where I am now. My first shoe falls in the art category. These are the Kith collab LeBron 15s. This just looks like art on the wall, which is why I haven't put them on my feet yet. I love when collaborations happen and they work. And this was one of those that worked. They got the straps that are interchangeable. I remember my son had them on one time because he was like, yo dad, can I wear your shoes now? And because I kind of feel like that old man who's turning into a hoarder, I was like, yeah, go have at it, man. Just make sure you don't go play tackle football or play kickball with a golf ball on concrete. Like don't scrape up my kicks and don't spill ketchup on them. And if you do scuff them, just wipe them off and put them back. And he was walking around in these. And I was like, yo, 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 what you doing? And he was like, oh, I just, I thought I could wear any of them. And I was like, yeah, but not the ones that I haven't even worn. Come on, like chill out fam. I'll put you up for adoption and I, I don't care. So yeah, he, he, he had to learn his lesson quickly that the ones that I haven't wore, let me get my first wear. Let me break them in, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm the one that like establishes relationship. Let me get the first kiss. Where does it rank for you in terms of LeBron? See, this is, this is tricky. This isn't my favorite LeBron. As much as I can appreciate this work of art in the collaboration with Kip, these LeBrons, the jean denim LeBrons with the leather Timberland laces, I have these birthday LeBrons right here, which were for an all-star weekend that I have never wore. I went crazy on LeBron one year and I went to my Nike account, which I was a Nike athlete at one point, and I just made my own LeBrons. These glow in the dark. I love Iron Man, so I made these. These are all one of one. And these, they remind me of Black Panther. But I'll tell you my favorite LeBrons. This collection of LeBrons on the ground, I'm gonna take it one by one. He did a collaboration with Martin. You know, Martin Lawrence, Martin. This is crazy. On the back it says, you so crazy, Gina. Oh my goodness, like, get to stepping. Everything Martin used to say, it's right here on the back. Who collaborates with a sitcom? LeBron. I mentioned Bo Jackson earlier. He did a collaboration with Bo Jackson. You're like, Nate, does he keep going? Yeah, my dude went to patent leathers. The Concord Jordan 11's the best shoe. LeBron's like, I'ma collaborate with it. Look at that, crazy, okay? You know I'm a Seattle guy, you know I'm a Seattle guy. What? LeBron collaborated with the Griffey shoe? Like, that doesn't even make sense. The prime time LeBron's. This is my favorite section because they're all collaborations with shoes a basketball player isn't supposed to collaborate with. I, I just feel like LeBron, he hit the jackpot with these. So that right there, those are my favorite shoes when it comes to LeBron. So those might be my favorite shoes in the entire world. This next pair falls into the high fashion category. I know you're like, Nate, damn those is bright. Yeah, they are bright, okay? Um, but I like bright stuff. This was a collaboration that Reebok did with Armani. 
I was very predictive when I bought some of this stuff because certain collaborations, you see them together and you're like, ah, I don't know if that's gonna last. That's what this was. And it has that pump technology, but yeah, like just look at this though, man. It's, it's crazy. It has this like rubber netting on the side, this Zig technology, which I don't even think Reebok's even doing anymore. You know, I thought this was a fire, fire collaboration. And it's one of those sneakers where you don't buy them to match a shirt with it. You just buy this pair of shoe to stand out like this. Like, I don't want anything to match. Like, think, just look at this. Like, I have on like homely colors, you know what I'm saying? Like warm color scheme. And what if I just pulled up and I'm just like, hey, what's up? Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, welcome to my uh, store. You know, you're gonna be like, yo, this dude, who is this dude with the bright ass kicks? You know how you see somebody and you're like, he got that like, he's not trying, but he's probably a billionaire swag. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm not saying I'm a billionaire. I'm gonna get there though. But like, this is it. A dude that just wears whatever from here and then boom, you're like, them kicks are fire. My next shoe falls in the, how did you get your hands on those category? The Oregon Duck Jordan 5. Just this color on a Jordan shoe, right? And Oregon's been doing this for a while. And I've always felt like Oregon was a cheat code of a school. I went to University of Nevada, Reno. Shout out to Nevada, Reno. But everybody I knew that went to Oregon always had crazy kicks. And these dudes didn't have like long NFL careers. They just had the ultimate plug with the equipment manager. So I weasel my way into them conversations. And I was like, yo, that equipment manager that hooks you up, you think he can? send me a couple of things. He sent me one thing, I sent them four. He sent me a couple of shoes, I sent them some shirts. He sent me something, I sent them some jerseys. I was trying to butter him up and he hooked me up. So shout out to my, to my plug who will forever remain nameless like Jay-Z says. But this is my favorite part about this shoe. Like, come on fam, a duck on the back of a shoe? It's crazy. They're not out there. This is a shoe that you can't get. So when I wear these, which I have, people are always like, oh, oh, you went to Oregon. I'm like, nope. Oh, you, you, your wife went, no. Oh, you got a, your relative, no. I just, I just know somebody. My next pair is going to be the Adidas, Jeremy Scott collaboration. These are probably my most unique sneakers. And by the looks of them, you can tell why. And he had a bunch of these. And I got a few of those over there. I have the one with the gorilla on it. The ones with the little teddy bear on it, the ones that look like a box of crayons, the ones with the wings, the ones with the Flintstone bones on it. Little Wayne was rocking them heavy for a while. So everybody's familiar with Wayne rocking them. And to be honest, <laughs> that's why I didn't rock mines a lot because like Wayne was doing it. And when you rock something that somebody has seen in the music video, everybody's like, ah, oh, this dude, come on. But these are fire though. This print, the material is soft and they got the tail on the back. It's a little weird though, cause it kind of feels kind of naughty. Like I shouldn't be wearing them, you know what I'm saying? I like these though, because they just give you that animalistic nature. And you know, I'm a Leo, so. Anything that has to do with animals, like. <sighs> what do you wear when you wear those? Uh, what I like to do is go with black denim, tapered leg, so they sit on top of the shoe, and some type of neutral top. You know, most of these shoes I buy because I know they can hold down the outfit by themselves. And that's a note to all you young dudes out there, or to anybody. And this isn't me being super fashionable. I mean, I'm rocking Birkenstocks right now. It's deciding what part of your outfit is gonna talk for you. Like shoes do a lot of talking. Ladies look at your kicks, your eyes, haircut, then they go to nails, and then they might pay attention to your pants and your shirt. You don't wanna be that guy that's over the top with it, a turtleneck on and three chains, and then you got a fur jacket and you got some jeans with patches on it and a belt that's hanging. No, now you're doing way too much, bro. Just rock a pair of shoes because the shoes are gonna be the starting point for every conversation. My next pair falls into one of my most expensive and hard to get shoes. And these are the Jordan 1's Comme des Garçons. I love the Jordan 1's, right? It's just a fire shoe. Two, I love all black. All black, you can rock with anything. But what makes this special though, is the buckles. Hear that? Is that, is that Rudolph? It's not Christmas, fam. It's just my shoes. <laughs> I saw these and I was like, yo, those is fire. 
And I did see them when they came out. Let me check the prices. I click, click, and I'm like, oh, damn. Because this is a hard leather. So it's not like your typical Jordan shoe. And then the buckles on it, I mean, that just gives it a whole different vibe. I walk around with these, my wife is like, hey, it's 50 Shades of Nate night tonight. I'm like, yeah, you know it. I wear these with nothing on. All you hear is just me walking through the house. Clinkity, clinkity, clink. The kids be gone, you know what I'm saying? They be at school. All right, thanks for checking out My Life in Sneakers. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And remember, your sneakers walk in the room before you do.